Hey guys, welcome back to the Matt Greer Music Channel. Uh, today I want to continue to explore the interoperability between my Electron Digitone and my iOS device running AUM. Uh, let me address one thing real quick. Uh, yes, I call it a Digitone. I realize that the Swedes call it a Digitone, but I'm American. We don't call things that are digital, digital. So I call it a Digitone, and uh, you're just going to have to get used to that. At least I do say Moog the right way. So there's points in my, my favor there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I've continued to explore this. I continue to find new things that you can do. And I've been getting a lot of questions in the comments section about audio routing. Uh, in particular, one that they want to show or see. How do I route Digitone synths? through effects processors on this. And I'm gonna show you that today. I'm gonna to show you a couple different ways that you can do it and how you can treat your, your channels of audio. Uh, I wanna address another question right away. Can this send all four channels of the synthesizer to different channels in the mixer? Uh, the answer is no, not that I can tell. Um, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. That would basically mean that they'd be competing against Overbridge if they let you do that natively. Uh, and, and Electron's put so much work and time and energy into Overbridge, I don't think they're going to put out uh, a competing technology that would allow people to do that without their own platform. Um, so right now it is a stereo pair that comes out of USB. But today I'm going to show you how you can route these synths out through USB into effects processors on iOS and then back into the USB input because of this now being a class compliant USB audio interface. So yeah, uh, that's what we're gonna talk about. Let's get into it. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start by clearing this out. We'll start with a brand new project so you can see the steps from the beginning. Um, now I'm going to set up a new audio track. Uh, it's defaulting to USB as the output. I'm going to hit the plus at the top. I'm going to go into input. Digitone. Oh, I did it. I said it right that time. Uh, Digitone left and right as the uh, audio source. Okay, so now I can hear this synth coming through my iPad. Uh, again, everything's USB. Uh, these are routing to this Tascam DR05 to capture audio in real time, but it's all digital. Um, so I've got this set up so I can now hear my 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 Digitone. Let's see, I went back to the other way now. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to put on this middle plus here in the channel. And what you got to go down to is this bus send. And I'm going to tell it to send to bus A. So now I've got Digitone as an audio source, uh, but it's set up to where I can send that audio source to a separate channel. So I'm gonna open up another audio channel. Again, it says USB at the bottom, that's what I want. Up here, I'm gonna choose Mix Bus, and I'm gonna tell it Receive from Bus A. So basically, it's catching this audio through this channel and sending it through this one now. Think of this as your beginning, that's your end, so it's like a directional road of where your audio is going. In the middle of that road, I want an effects processor. So I'm sending audio from here over to there, and it's going to go through this effects processor. I'm going to go to Inner App Audio, and I'm going to choose this AUFX Space. Um, this is made by the same company that makes AUM, um, but it's a really good, like, eventide space kind of uh real ethereal reverb and there's a ton of cool presets in it but i'm going to apply that let me find one that's really like let's see yeah we'll go with dark swirl that's fine all right i'm going to go back here now first let's see you can hear it's on but i'm going to go into the synth here and i'm going to turn off all the effects on this so this is actually now a dry signal. I'm going to turn this way up. You can hear that's just a massive reverb, but it's now sending this synth through that FX plugin. Um, let's find another one just so you can hear it kind of change in real time. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, so that's the easy way to get effects onto 
um, the Digitone synths and, and hear them back over USB. Now you can uh, you can apply more than one effect. So if I want to go and do this again, I can again choose Mix Bus Receive from A. So again, now this channel is sending to here and to here. I'm going to put something else on this one. Interrap audio. Uh, let's go with this dub. It's again made by the same company. Find one that's real obvious here. Um, there's some flanger. Let's go with flanger. There's a delay. You can hear that going now. So, got two effects. Uh, I'm going to mute these. So now it's just dry. Turn it off. Now they're applied again. And you can continue to do that. Uh, obviously, you'll eventually run out of processing power on your iOS device. Um, things will start glitching out. But you can apply multiple effects like that. Uh, you could also put them in line on the same channel. So I could go here and hit plus, or I can add some of the other processing things that you have here, filter and EQ, dynamics, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you want to control the levels for each easily with like a mixer interface, uh, you can do it this way. All right, so uh, let's get back to that other question. Can I send multiple channels of audio to different routings and effects? Sort of. Um, you're not going to get all four of these. Like I said, Overbridge kind of does that job. Uh, Electron, if you're listening, give us Overbridge for mobile devices. That would be huge. Um, but for now, there is a little bit of a workaround. And I'll show you guys that real quick here. So let me just clear that. We'll start with a brand new project again. Uh, let's see. Yep. So I'm going to go into audio just like we did before. I'm going to hear hardware import, uh, input, excuse me, and I'm going to hit. Electron Digitone left. I'm going to go to end to the amp page on the Digitone. Turn that channel all the way to the left. So now essentially what I have, um, well, I'll come back to that. Let me do one other thing real quick. Let's hit audio again. Hardware input. Let's hit R. And I'm going to go to synth 2. Send that one all the way to the right. So... Now I have a synth basically on that channel. Now I have a synth basically on that channel. And you say, well, I don't want it fully panned. You can kind of get around that if you go into the stereo processing on here and you go to stereo panning. And you can kind of finagle these controls to... See, now I'm getting a little more out of the right side too. Sounds more balanced. I can do the same on the other channel. And again, you can give these each their own mix bus with this. Um, and again, add channels and add effects after the fact. So you could have just the delay on, on this one synth. And you could have just the reverb on the other one. So kind of a workaround. It's not perfect. I would love to have, you know, four stereo pairs that I could root to whatever I wanted with and, and get really nuts. Uh, but for what it is, it's pretty great. And, and I think it's still very cool. Now, again, I'll say that none of this really, in a way, is brand new. Um, iOS has been able to work with class-compliant audio interfaces for a long time. Uh, you've been able to use MIDI controllers with their apps and synths for a long time. But having it all integrated into one box like this, where it sounds great, um, it's got you know awesome sequencers built into it you've got four amazing fm synths on top of it and then you've got you know four tracks of midi that's plenty to make really good compositions um, if it's not enough you can get the digitect where you'll have eight channels of midi to sequence things on this device uh, and and all these concepts i'm showing you will work on both of them so yeah that's kind of it that's how you can route the digitone synths through fx you can kind of uh, separate the stereo I guess this is stereo I don't know um, and uh, send it through different effects into different channels kind of allowing you to kind of mix the different things um, one other thing I'll say here since you're hearing both this and this at the same time you can turn this channel down 
does nothing because what you're actually hearing if you monitor out of the out of this device is the native synth built into it so if you actually want to turn this synth down you've got to use the level So to find the balance between the effect and the synth, remember that you're going to have to work with the fader on here and the one on here. And the more you turn this one up, the more that's going to respond. So uh, it, it's going to be a little bit of a mixing game to tweak things and find you know the perfect settings. But I, I encourage you to explore it because there's a lot of power here. Um, again, I'm going to keep exploring it as I find new things or if I get more questions about how to do this stuff. I'll continue to respond in the comments or make videos if I feel like if it's something that a lot of people would benefit from. Uh, but yeah, that's it. This is uh, Digitone's Synth Engines routing through iOS effects in AUM. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Bye.